You don't have to be what they want you to be. It's very simple. It's your life. And a lot of times we think that we have to be what it is we think that they want us to be. Are we really who we are? Or are we just products of what we think we want people to think we are? Does that make sense? If that makes sense, check out this journal entry, the book. I'm not okay. April 11th, 2020. This is during COVID. This is from the book. This is what we're doing. You don't have to be what they want you to be. You know I heard that? 10 Things I Hate About You. Movie with Julia Stiles, Heath Ledger, that kid that looks like the kid. A lot of those people. It shows how people try to conform. Right? And that's normal. Right? Everyone tries to be the same person. You ever go to like corporate America, which is weird here in Vegas, completely different. There's no like a lot of blue suit guys. But if you go to Jersey, you go to New York, there's a lot of blue suits. Right? A lot of corporate Joes, as we call them. A lot of my friends are corporate Joes. That's cool. I'm not against it. I was never good at being a corporate Joe. I was just good at being Pete. I didn't want to be a Joe. And then when I did, sure I learned. Like I did things I wanted to do in the way that I wanted to do them, but within their guidelines, still got fired from it, but that's okay. You don't have to be what they want you to be. It's such a great quote from one of my favorite films. But who are you? That's an interesting thought. Are we really who we are? Or are we just products of what we think we want people to think we are? I guess that's just called living life. Knowing what it is you like and dislike and surrounding yourself with what you love. I guess that is truly being you. What do you think? Upside down smiley face. That was, now think about that. Right? I always say that I am who I am. Right? I try to be who I want to be. But is it influence that this is who I am? I don't know. You know, but the problem isn't where I'm, I'm at now. The problem is where I was. Or where, where people are, or you, are in positions of truly about to finding yourself. Who you are. And we talked about this in a lot of other videos. And if you haven't um, seen those videos, click above and I'll put a tab up top. And a lot of times we do things with expectation of, you know, pleasing someone else. Like there's a lot of things that I do at home that I would never do. Like not letting the dogs on the bed. But I have to do it because I have to be in agreement with my wife. Correct? If, if it was, this place would be a madhouse. If Honestly, if this... If I was just in charge and it was just me, this place would be an absolute madhouse. I would have a slide going down the stairs. I would have definitely things hanging from the ceiling. Out this window, I would want like rubber spiders so I could just throw them out the window and then they could bounce when someone walks by inside this house that my wife probably would not like me to do. Right, so I hold my back. I hold myself back a lot. But there's times and she gives me the freedom to also express myself in ways that make me feel fulfilled. Nails included. I want you to think about that. Like, you got to think about, are you doing what you're doing because you want to do it? Or are you doing what you're doing because you want someone else to be pleased with you for doing so? And that's where you fall into the trap. That's a trap. Like, I like working at the bars. Do I love it? No. Am I just doing it for money? Yes. It's not like I, I love doing it and being there and it's the same. No, it's late. I'm tired. I want to sleep and wake up early. That's what I want to do, right? But what is it that I can do that starts at 5 a.m.? Besides coaching, I'm not going to do that because I don't want to do it for someone else. And this is where you get stuck because society wants us to be. I don't know why. I, I feel like John Tapp. Every time I talk, yeah, I'm selling you the wall. They want us to be a better person. <laughs> John Taffer's from Bar Rescue, if you don't know who that is. I'm wearing a flannel because I want to. Do I wear it out there? No, because it's uncomfortable. But am I wearing it for the video? Yeah, why not? The thing is, people won't wear things that they really want to wear out there because they're scared about what other people will say. That's where that post comes from, and that's why I love it so much. It's like, who cares? But there's a lot of factors that do come into play, and I'm sure you're saying it right now. Oh, my children, I gotta make money. I, gotta, I get it, I get it, 100%. But does everything have to be that way? You have to conform to every little thing that someone says or wants to say? Hopefully you find a different way out of it. April 13th, 2020, I have to take a break from that. It's too painful to hear myself and too tough to read what I write. That's when I realize and I realize there's a cycle, a lot of cycles of this, where I'm like, fuck this, I'm done doing it, never journaling again, it's so stupid. You know, that's when I give up. Those are the, I can't read my own emotions anymore because it hurts too much to write. That's when I needed to. These little breaks is when I needed to write more, journal more, think more. But I was doing it in a different way. I was thinking about it in a different way. It just wasn't aligning with me then. 
It was causing more pain. And who knows what more pain's going to cause. So I take those breaks, and like with anything else that you do, working out, eating, fucking I don't know why I always talk about those two, but that's all I know. There's got to come to a point where you're doing too much, and if it's not feeling good, and it's not what you want to do or aligns with the things of your out, like, it doesn't align with your outcomes, then fucking stop. Give yourself time to recover, then get back to it again. April 25th, 2020, this will conclude April. Be here for your family, they're here for you. Today's my brother's birthday, Uncle Jay. There's not enough room in this book to express how much I love and care for him. And there's not enough room in this book to tell you the thousands of stories I can share with you. Make sure you guys take care of each other. You will have ups and downs, ins and outs. Agree to disagree. That was a message, obviously this book was written, right, to my children. For just in case they need to know how dad was. And of course that's like little messages that I will tell them. And there's not enough words that I can say that can explain the relationship I have with my brother. He's a part of me. And a lot of you guys may have the same thing. Assuming that they're going to be there, and we do this all the time, we assume they're going to wake up the next day. You assume you're going to wake up the next day. Do you know how many thousands of people go to sleep? They're sleeping tonight, and they're not waking up in the morning? No one wants to fucking think about that. Instead, we will neglect it and not communicate with them, not call them and not tell them emotions that you feel like I love you or I hate you. What's the matter with you? Or I love you so much. Thank you for everything you've given me. I'm very grateful for you. And then they're fucking gone. Now you don't have that chance to say it. Instead, you're saying it over a fucking casket, wishing that you were there for them. Obviously, I'm crying because of my father, right? I didn't make it. We are on a plane back to New Jersey to go visit him in the plane. I never got to say goodbye to him. I know he's still here, but I never got to see him. I have a video that I, I saved on my, on my phone, but it was a screen record of us talking to him in the hospital, but there's no sound. But we had our dates, you know? We had our dates to talk, and we would FaceTime with the kids, and we'd call him. And then it was the one time he didn't pick up, and then you regret that day that you never get to say goodbye. So maybe one thing you can do out of anything in this is reach out to the person or persons or people that you fucking care about and just tell them, I love you, thank you, or go fuck yourself. As uncomfortable and as terrible as it may sound, you're assuming that they're going to be there tomorrow and they might not. So take advantage of what you have while you have it. Thank you so much for coming out like subscribe comment build up the channel because i want to see it grow and if i grow you grow too thank you guys peace out